So now let's talk about rosé. Rosé season is obviously upon us, though arguably you can have it at any time. And uh, for this month we have Lefrage um, Rodon. So we've had her stuff before. Her name is Mathilde Apologi, and I love her. <laughs> to be honest, so we did a um, we did a, her wine in the Wonder Woman of Wine Club. Uh, in our October box last year, I believe. And she just made us this amazing video um, showing us her vines and telling us about, you know, the way that she makes them. And she's just a badass wine lady. Um, so I was really happy when we were able to get her rosé in. And it's a really good example of lightly extracted Italian rosé wine. So a lot of times Italian rosés are on the heftier side. Um, similar to kind of like how like Greek style like they tend more towards the Greek style of rosé versus like the French style this leans more towards the French style um so it's lighter extracted and it's really yummy easy drinking so let's try it oh before I drink it sorry so um strawberries like that's definitely the first thing I get off of it and I imagine it's what you're going to get too Tons of strawberries, also like some nice florals um, that I wasn't expecting on it. Um, I don't know what kind, but definitely like violets, probably wrong, but that's kind of where my head's at with it. Um, and maybe even like some currants. So let's try it. Perfect amount of acidity that you would want from uh, a rosé. And it's definitely starting with the strawberries. But the strawberries went from just kind of like smelling like fresh strawberries to now it's like they're cooked. But I don't know how they're cooked. They're cooked like, like a baked strawberry tart, but without the sugar, if that makes sense. Um, so that probably means maybe there's a little bit of malolactic fermentation in it. Really yummy. Um, as far as drinking it, it's rosé, so you can drink it by itself, obviously. Um, but again, going back to the same things I would, I've been saying most of these white wines would go with, especially in like Italy and Greece, like fish would be great with some different types of fish. Um, soup, that's kind of a random one, but like a fish soup would be great. Um, even like a potato soup, honestly, like you still want to have I still want to have at least when I have dinner uh, and it's like a soup I still want to have my wines with it and I normally lean towards like when I have heavier soups I, I actually lean towards uh white wines or light rosés that have a lot of acidity because I think that that really helps with the amount of like milk products that are normally in um heavier soups so that could be a really interesting different take than what I've been saying so far Eat it with strawberries. <laughs> that's what I would do. Anytime it tastes like something, I always just want that. Um, and that's in theory how it's supposed to be drank. So that could be another good one for it. And then also you could do, you know, like your chickens, you could do your normal <clears throat> fowl and fish meals. So, oh, and then just like, you know, Italian antipasti, if you want to have bris bruschetta or bruschetta, if you're, we're being Italian today, all of that would be great. So I love her, love her wines. I hope that you really enjoy this lighter version of an Italian rosé uh, and feel like the spring is on its way. We're getting close. Also the bottle's super cute. And if you're going somewhere for Easter, it's pretty classic. So it's like, no one would know this is a natural wine when they try it. So don't be afraid to bring it. To, well, if your grandma has the vaccine, don't be afraid to bring it to grandma's house if you're going to visit her. So enjoy. <laughs> 